Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the ZF transmission. Soon I'll be releasing the seven things that you should know about your transmission. But today I'm going to be covering just one of those topics. And that is, are there any known weaknesses with the ZF transmission? We all know it's a very stout transmission, but it's not perfect. Before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and want more content like it, consider subscribing and giving that video a thumbs up. It lets me know that there is real value in continuing to make these kinds of deep dive videos. All right, guys, the ZF is a stout transmission. It is extremely fast with smooth shifts, but it does have flaws, especially the 850RE and the 8HP75, which are used in Wranglers and Gladiators, with the main weak points being clutch A and clutch E. These clutches do a ton of work. Clutch A holds every single time the Jeep starts moving from a stop. It also applies during low speed crawling, backing up, and transitions in lower gears. So it sees high torque, frequent application, heat spikes, long engagement events during off-road crawling. So what goes wrong? The most common clutch A failure is burnt friction plates, blue spotted steel plates, and uneven wear. The Sonics video does a great job of illustrating this problem. Let's look at some of the clips from this video. When clutch A pressurizes, the apply plate or back plate can flex, especially at the outer edges. This wears the clutches unevenly. Let's take a look at a picture of a friction disc that shows the uneven wear. Okay, now let's take a look at a clip of a Sonics video that demonstrate how the back plate flexes and applies uneven pressure on the clutches. The OEM is on the left and the clutch back that uses the much stronger Sonex back plate is on the right. See how the bars connected to the clutch go up and down unevenly. The Sonex backing plate or pressure plate on the right is twice as thick as the weak stamped OEM back plate and the clutches apply evenly. Here's what you will see if your clutch A is starting to fail. It will show up as slips, especially in the lower gears, first and second, on reverse, and in some cases, upper gears like the seventh and eighth. So you would typically see harsh one, two or two, one shifts, or you will see flare on launch. That's basically when engine RPM suddenly rises and flares up during a gear engagement. That's because the clutch is not holding or grabbing. It is slipping instead of applying firmly. Next, let's talk about clutch E. It doesn't handle the same torque load as clutch A, but it sees very high cycling frequency. And clutch E almost never fails on its own. It usually goes down as collateral damage because clutch A and clutch E share key hydraulic feed circuits inside the valve body. The valve body is right on top of the transmission pan. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the animation of our transmission. You can see how fluid flows from the transmission pan to valve body and into the transmission and clutches. And now let's take a look inside mechatronic unit which houses the valve body. Here's what happens. When clutch A starts shedding friction material, that dust and any debris caused by it gets carried straight into the valve body. The debris contaminates the small valves and passages that regulate clutch pressure. Once the solenoids can't modulate pressure cleanly, clutch E starts seeing low or unstable applied pressure. And that is what burns clutch E. Not a torque overload, but dirty fluid and poor pressure control caused upstream by clutch A. This is also why regular fluid changes are important on the 850RE and 8HP75. Fresh fluid helps keep the valve body clean and reduces the contamination that kills both A and E clutches. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my video on how to do a proper ZF8 speed fluid service. I walked through the whole procedure. The link is in description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or want to see more content like it, please consider subscribing and give a thumbs up. If you have any ideas or comments about what you want to see in the future, please comment below and I'll see you on the next one.